ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yes, we're back into the Swanky Studios, of course, bringing you guys another exciting podcast today. This is the Beyond Swanky Podcast. Clap it up for T, and we got Coco in the building, and guys... We got Monica up in the studio. Monica wanted to see what we'd be doing after hours when it's when we're not in the offices writing our articles or uploading videos or working operations. She wants to see what's after hours. So we're here at Swanky Studios to bring y'all another exciting podcast. Can't wait to talk about some of the great things that we got to talk about. And ladies and gentlemen, this podcast was brought to you by Kennedy Lucas Publishing's LLC. We uploaded a new CEO's Corner article today it was a great read and great write by the way in the office from our team and me collaborating and writing so uh, go check that out over at issue.com that's i-s-s-u-u.com type in kennedy lucas publishing's llc or the ceo's corner or the vox times because uh we've got the new article out the ceo's corners uh that's an article we write we try to write that daily y'all and i know we've been slacking uh, the reason for that being is because we've been in production we wrapped hardline second term will be available on uh, amazon prime video next year of course we had some meetings we had some other clients come in wanting some video work done so yeah we've been busy we've been that is that good kind of busy too and plus playing video games again if y'all missed the, the latest podcast uh today klp aftermath we did our formal gotham knights and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 review. So again, go check out the KLP Aftermath today. Um, that was also a great, great thing. Now, this is the Beyond the Swanky podcast. So that means that means we've got some, some serious topics to talk about, right? This is the show that we go beyond the podcast. We go beyond the swanky. We go beyond the podcast. And we talk about some real shit. And I do mean we talk about some real shit. So, of course, we've got that topic of conversation. Of course, T. How are you, T? What's going on, man? Doing good. You know, it's it's Monday. It's a fresh new start to the week. We ready for another exciting couple podcasts. We got a couple podcasts on schedule. I looked at our schedule. We got podcasting. Kennedy, me and you got meetings. We've got uh, a, a gala, the gala to go to this weekend. You know, they, we, we busy. We <laughs> This is like the busiest time I I have to say that we've been and I get really excited when I come into the offices as well, Kennedy, because, you know, we've got the meetings and we've got distribution meetings and, you know, our films now, like like you mentioned and you said, I like what you said, the new era of, of KLP Entertainment Films, because I remember when we were doing films, man, you know, we were pumping them out for YouTube and that was it. So now... We having these distribution meetings and we're talking and we're trying to get movies, our movies out there, you know, so it, it's, it's a great time to be alive. Uh, I know a lot of people work these, these jobs where they're not really as happy, but I, I genuinely enjoy the job we do. So, um, I'm blessed, highly favored, ready for another, uh, podcast. That's good, man. That, Hey. Blessed and highly favored. I'm blessed and highly favored. Again, he ain't lying, y'all. Monica looking at me like, yeah, he ain't lying. I looked at the schedule this week, too. He ain't lying. We we do a lot of meetings. We, there's a lot of distribution meetings, uh, formal meetings, and then we go into an event this Saturday. Can't wait for that. Can't really tell y'all too much about that quite just yet, but um, we, you, I'm sure y'all see it on our Instagram accounts as well. Coco, my dog, he back into the studio to give us another one. What's going on, man? What is going on, everybody? We back in this bitch. Here we go. Every week. Well, anyway, um, I wanted to hop right in. Let's talk about assuming this episode. I'm deciding that. We wasn't even going to talk about that this episode, but it's on my mind. So let's talk about that for a second. Because I really, I, I really, like, I really need to understand. I really do truly need to understand why y'all think that that just by making a very, 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 they call this headcanon. 
like you see when you watch a show and then fans like make up something because of things that they see on the show they're like oh well this was never told to us so i'm gonna make this up based on you know things that are seen in the show and whatnot that is fine you can you can do that on your own time that's that is terrific good for you however life is not a show and mine is def certainly not a show uh, this is real life nigga and and i agree with that your first statement because personally for me i've had people assume first of all i don't know why people assume that my life is perfect right um I, I don't put up this front and, you know, everyone sees our, our Instagram and we're posting and whatnot. It's, it's part of our business when we're doing something creative or we're doing, let's say, distribution deals and we're trying to get our content out there and we're doing things. A lot of people, a lot of outer circle people, I would say, not my close friends because my close friends are my, my day ones, but a lot of people that are in my outer circle that we just acquainted with they assume that, you know, oh, Kennedy got it all together. Like, he's 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 perfect. He has it all together. And we don't, right? I don't have a whole bunch of things together. Am I trying to get things together? Absolutely. Every single day. But when people see my, my Instagram, they assume that life is perfect. They assume that I'm doing all this, this quote-unquote lavish things. But really, it's our business. We're working. Right. And uh, people assume whatever they assume. But our job, KLP Entertainment, content creating, being a creator, director, writer, music producer, it's hard work. Right. And we put the work in. And I don't know why. I don't know. It's weird. A lot of people assume um, that, you know, I have it all together and I don't. Right. I, I work hard to make plans. I work hard to strive and I work hard for the things I have, but it didn't come to me. It, didn't, it wasn't given to me. Right. And, and I've had people assume a lot of crazy things about me. But, you know, I, I let them assume, you know, I let them think what they want to think. But I know the truth. A lot of my family members, my inner friends, they know the truth. They know what I can do. Um, but, yeah, we have to start stop assuming things. Don't be assuming shit that may or may not be true. If it's if if you have a 50-50 chance of being right, why are you assuming it? Why are you assuming that that is the case? Oh, oh well, if you don't give anyone any more information, what are they supposed to do but assume? Shut up, bro. Shut up. There's a very simple principle. If it's not said, go to bed. Well said, because I have people that I know that assume that that I'm doing this and this and this. And then I turn around and I hear about it. And it's a complete farce. It's a complete laugh. It's a complete lie. And then I ask myself, OK, where did you hear that from? Cause I don't remember telling you that. Cause I don't. I never told anybody anything of that certain topic, right? If it didn't come from the, and this is there's a saying, did it come from the horse's mouth, right? Every day, whether I'm in my offices, I'm on set, or I'm in the studio, and it's rare that we have that problems like they hear in a studio. If it's not said by me, what you say? If it's not said go to bed right I, I think a lot of people that i've seen based off my experiences a lot of people assume things because they want the drama right and we we have to understand to eliminate the drama and i okay so i'm not a drama type person right i may joke I might clown. I might make fun of something that's light. Now, I don't make fun of things that are heavy, right? But I might joke, make a like a corny joke and then leave it alone, right? But I've never been the type of person where there's drama filled. I, I step away from drama because, as and I've been preaching this on, on shows before, I'm 26. I'm too grown for the drama. I'm too grown for the messiness, right? Um... 
I, I, I try to step away from the drama. I try to make sure that I don't assume things about other people, right? Because I don't want people to assume things about me that's not true, right? I If it's something that someone's coming my way to with assumptions, I don't want to hear about it because I don't believe it. Until somebody says that, that I hear them say that, then that's when I would believe that it's true. Because again, like like I say, a lot of people will assume something because they want the drama. They want to. This is say another saying, Coco, stirring the pot, right? And and that's one of the things I, I try to step away from and not really engage so much because. And I always tell other people like I don't want to hear about it because I'm too busy, right? There's a saying we're we're too busy. I, I don't care. I'm too busy. I I'm too grown and too busy to listen to whatever the the hell these two bimbos gotta say. These 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 jabronis got to say over here. I could care less what they got to say about me. Because I know I'm doing the right thing. I'm working hard, making money and and living life. I could care less what Jimmy John and Sally Sue has to say. You can assume whatever you want. But it is saying if you didn't hear somebody say it, go to bed. If they didn't say it, if you didn't say it, go to bed. If it's heard believe the word you know what i mean that's that's really all it is because there are so many issues that i myself have been in Uh, speak on it that have been caused by just plain assumptions so many misunderstandings so many arguments so many you know hurt feelings and broken hearts nigga over assumptions over assumptions like are you kidding me why are we still doing this? Is this the third grade? That's what I be asking. Why don't why don't people like to grow up? What is going on? What world am I living in where it's like cool to assume? You can't do that. You can't do that. Don't make me get started on people who pick and choose the things to assume as well. Like just don't do that. I don't I don't understand why y'all think that that's okay cuz it's not. It isn't. If nobody said shit to you, don't assume. How about ask? That is so crazy. How about ask? Whatever happened to that? I, I think I can uh, I can answer that one. Um, and this is again, this is just my opinion, guys. Um, I some people might might differ from this, but this <laughs> is just how I feel about it. Um. It's always good to ask somebody about something, right? Um, I would prefer people to ask about, okay, for an example for this one, um, I've had a a friend who were, you know, different race than I was, and he asked about, you know, the the stuff I put in my hair, the product I I put in my hair, but he didn't want to assume the the stereotype. So he came out and asked, like, hey, you put shea moisturizer in your hair. I, I don't know what that is. Why do you do that? And if it's, uh, he, he said it like he wanted, he asked, but he didn't want to be rude about it. Right. And it's always good to, to ask questions like that if you didn't know. Right. And it's typically, and, and this is my friend, he's in, bless his heart, he's, he's a, a white male. So he, you know, he didn't know. He didn't know so much about it. Right. So I told him I kind of helped educate him on it as well and i said yeah this is why um you know african americans we have to use shea uh, moisturizer that's a good brand by the way not a sponsor but you know we use these products for our hair because we don't want our hair to get nappy right so it's always good to ask and instead of assuming ask us about something you're curious about and you really just want to know but not being in a rude way um so shout out to him but coco but there's a but to it right um, I've had people assume s- some things, right? And they ask, and it's a little personal. Personally, for me, I with my when it comes to my inner friends, I will tell them whatever they want to know. I wouldn't tell them so much in, in, in personal stuff, but let's say if they ask, and this happened, shout out to uh, Karen and Salt Lake and, and the crew because we went out for uh, Karen's birthday the other night. Um, I had some of my friends ask how was the filming industry going for me. Right. And friends, my close circle, I will tell them left and right how the film industry is going um, because I genuinely want them to know that I'm OK. Things are thriving and they genuinely want to know. Right. But you got to be careful about certain people that ask you things because I've have and currently have people ask me 
things about film or things that I'm doing, side hustles that I'm doing, that it's really none of their business, right? So I'm very, I'm very protective about who I tell my stuff to, right? It's nothing illegal. It's nothing bad, but it's just some things that I either have NDAs for it and I can't really get into it or some things that, okay, why do you want to know this? Because it really has nothing to do with you, right? I've had people ask me about and because we talked about it uh the gala this this coming up this weekend people ask hey so what's this about it, it's really none of your business right i have an nda i can't disclose who's going to be there i can't really talk about it but then why does it why is it that you want to know right i i think it's for that those type of people they're a bit nosy and i can't stand nosy people i really can't especially for people that are not in my circle right people that I associate with, but people, you're not in my circle. So I'm not inclined to tell you my personal business if you're not in my circle, if I can't fuck with you, right? If I ain't fucking with you, why am I telling you my business about our distribution? Why am I telling you my business about where I'm going a certain day, right? Plenty of friends have asked me, hey, what are you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You, bro, we haven't talked in five years. So why am I telling you my personal business? Or dude, you're not in, you, we, we ain't cool like that, right? We're not cool like that. So why am I telling you, why do I feel like you need to, you have a privilege to ask me about that and say, assuming something and then you ask me and I said, okay, I can't discuss that with you because it's personal. When it has something to do with you, then yeah, I'll tell you, right? If it has, if your name's on it, yeah, I will tell you. So the, that's the answer to that, Coco, is you ask, why is it that people don't ask? Yeah, it's a little funny sometimes, right? Um, back to what we talked about um, a couple of seconds ago about why do people assume things and never ask? And, and like, do we feel like we're in third grade? I personally, because I've had this happen past and present, that people assume things and they do things like we're in third grade because maybe they ain't got nothing else to do, right? People do things heinously because they don't feel successful in their lives, right? They have shit going on, nothing going on, and they want to dig and pick because they're probably depressed about what they have in front of them, right? And that's why I feel that people are doing it this way too because people ain't got nothing else better to do, right? Or they're depressed with their life and they see somebody thriving and they want to bring people down because they're down. Um, that's just my speculation on that one. Whatever happened to questions, just ask if you got something to say. Just ask if you're curious. I noticed this. I'm just curious about that. I have a question about this. Why do you do that? Why do you? Very, very simple concept is being used since, uh, since human beings started communicating with their mouths. I'm sure if you ask questions, that's how we get progress. Questions, progress. When you assume there's no progress, you assume you're just living in your own world and, and everyone else is just existing outside of your world. So you can't be, you can't be assuming because then that shit starts happening, and then we all look fucking stupid. At the end of the day, we all look dumb as hell. I remember, because um, this is relating, uh, I remember before I met you, Kennedy, and I was working at my other jobs, this was 2013, way before I came to KOP Entertainment, um, I was working a job, and this this uh, woman, she assumed something about this man, Um it was something very like kind of petty, but it didn't matter. And I couldn't really remember what it, I mean, this was years ago. I couldn't remember what it was, but it was brought up to the attention to our manager. And when our manager, our project manager found out about it, we had a big conversation. It was with, with, uh, all of us, every staff member in HR was there and people assumed it, and we all looked dumb, dumb as hell. Like, 
it was so to the point where everyone felt really cringy and felt uncomfortable. And it was when, and this was like, well, my final days of working for that. And then I saw KO Entertainment, but we all, they, if they, the woman assumed, and now she got extremely embarrassed and looked dumb as hell. The guy was very embarrassed and all of our, all of us, we were embarrassed because we really just wanted to come to work. And that was it at that time because we were all on the brakes of leaving anyway. So we really didn't care, but we felt also uncomfortable too so it it is important to never assume because especially in a workplace environment to where managers get involved directors get involved uh, human resources get involved and then now it's a whole conglomerate of of mess in my opinion i look dumb i don't like looking dumb i don't want to look dumb why would i want that why would i want to look dumb you want to look dumb because i don't I don't. I'm very handsome. Handsome people shouldn't look dumb. Attractive people shouldn't be looking dumb. Dumb people look dumb. But not, not, not me. I don't want to be on that life, man. Like, there are so many times. Hey, man, I've assumed. I've assumed as well. Now, here's a problem. I've assumed so much in my life. That I realize how fucking annoying that must be to other people. That is one thing about me. If if I notice that something I am doing is annoying to someone else, in turn, it becomes annoying to myself. It is very fucking annoying. I mean genuinely annoying. Not like haha annoying. Like, oh my fucking god, you're annoying, annoying. You know, when I see that shit, I'm like, god damn, like assuming it's not sick bro like you get no hoes doing that like you get absolutely zero tings assuming out here you get absolutely negative shorties out here assuming shit bro and true and and i'm guilty uh well i used to be guilty um while we're on the topic of of assuming on on you say shorties but girls i i used to assume right and my my I think it was my little brother that always tell me never assume something about a girl or a lady. You 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 don't know until you know you don't know, right? I used to be like, oh, I'm like her because I know she she's probably doing this and that and the third. That's me assuming back in the day, and that's again nowadays when I'm talking to women, I never assume, right? I'm never gonna assume you got a boyfriend. I'm not gonna assume that you're. You're this and that and, and, and a third. I'm never going to. I have to make sure I have an open heart and an open mind when I'm talking to to a girl, a female, a lady, because never, I, you don't know. Right. You don't know. And that's the thing. And I feel like in our generation, our, us guys, we say, oh, no, I ain't going to rock with her because she this and this and this and this and this. She's doing this. She sleeping around. She fucking never got. No, never assume. Right. Because you don't know. You might be missing out on something. You never know unless you try and you talk to them, right? And and I and I'm guilty kind of to this day too because I joke about it, right? But I just be joking. I I don't be, I, I don't be real with it. I don't take it to heart. Sometimes I'm joking, to just to make a good laugh. How many times did you assume shit and you are wrong? I've seen so many times where people, let's say for example, assume they were cheating on someone, and that person. Who, who they accused the person of doing that who wasn't doing that got so upset and tired of the assumptions that they leave the person y'all ever see that before because i have i've seen that before i've seen that yeah i've seen that a lot of times like i've seen that you know what i mean like oh uh, y'all are, are like y- you need to stop doing that you're going to lose a lot of opportunities. Don't assume. Just ask. I promise you it will save a life or two or three or four. It will save a life if you just sit back and you just ask. Just ask. Hey, yo, like I didn't really uh, understand what you meant by this. Can you give me more clarity? Blah, blah, blee, blee. Whatever. Whatever. You, however you speak, ask the question. That is fine. I would much rather be annoyed at a question 
that is continually asked that I've already answered. You know, sometimes people need a few more tries before they hit the baseball. You know, they need a few, a little, a little more swings, a few more swings. Then somebody not understand or be confused about something, never bring it up at all, ever. And then we're sitting here assuming shit and then people will sit there and build resentment towards you for shit they have never confirmed shit you've never said or have never done but what they've assumed that you have said and are doing so they will sit there and hold resentment towards you for that like what in the world is going on what the fuck kind of fucking world are we living in like <laughs> You will sit there and get angry at something you made up in your head about someone instead of just asking. Ask them, get the answer you don't want, and then be angry. Don't say nothing, assume, and then be angry at the thing that you assume. That is, uh, are you, y'all starting to follow me a little bit here? You starting to, you, you picking up what I'm laying down. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit strange, and as Cardi B say, that's suspicious. Don't assume. Don't assume. No. There's no need to. Life would be so much better. People would be so much more attracted. You just didn't assume. That is true. Um, again, as we close out the podcast, never assume. We we still got a long way to go, Coco. People are still going to continue to assume, and we're still gonna unfortunately be in this this stigma of where you know people will assume and we just have to fight uh through the pain of assumptions so but that's going to wrap it up here on our podcast tonight the beyond swanky podcast thank you coco again as always for coming in the studio to share some of your wisdom and i hopefully you guys enjoyed this podcast thus far we are on episode four 40 i think we're on so this podcast has been going really well so if you guys like the podcast if you're watching it on youtube uh, like comment subscribe don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you guys don't miss new content coming from us here at KOP entertainment and also if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast thank you on either spotify our hard radio uh, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Thank you so much. Share it with your friends so that way you guys don't miss and your friends will be notified when we are live on the radio tonight. So that's going to wrap it up here. The Beyond Swanky Podcast with our cast and crew. I've been your host and moderator, KLP Kennedy Lucas. As always, stay safe, stay swanky. Peace.